Uh, today, I am couldn't be more thrilled. I am honored to be talking with Stephanie Duell. Uh, Stephanie, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I couldn't be more excited. I uh, had a wonderful writing night last night. Got uh, a little over 2,000 words before I hit the hay. Uh, this morning, I'm up with coffee, chatting with you. I'm living a charmed writing life this week. Good for you. Are you doing NaNoWriMo? Uh, no. Uh, I'm just writing a lot in November. Um, I don't have any ambition of finishing an entire book. I've, I've done that before. Uh, and what I find is if, you know, if I get a full manuscript in a month, I'm going to spend another three months fixing the thing I hurriedly wrote down. So it's, it's better for me to just go slow and steady and get it done. Are you uh, participating in NaNoWriMo? Oh, no. I, I, I'm a tortured writer. I write, you know, a hundred words and then say, oh, I own, eh, get rid of 80 of those, keep 20, add five, minus three. Oh, well, that was a good day. And, and, <laughs> and so my style of writing would, would not would not work well. Are you uh, an everyday writer? No. No, I, you know, I live with a lot of it for a long time. And then what I find is when I begin a book, it's sort of a a slow process of, you know, it's some words here and it's a walk there and it's a thinking here and some more words. And, and then when I will reach a certain point in the book, I can't get it out fast enough. So that's where the everyday writing comes in. But that's about, it's certainly past the halfway mark. It might even be the two thirds. And then, and then it's the race home. So how much time are you talking for the first, um, first two thirds or so? First half? Oh, months, um, months. <laughs> you know, that that can go as long as six months. Gotcha. So six months and then does that last bit look like a month, two months? Pardon? And the last bit looks like maybe a month, two months? Yeah. It, the last one's about a, the last one's about a month. And then, you know, then you sort of start to look for your rewrites on it and all of that. But it's, you know, because a lot of it's about, I, I am... Um, and I know we'll talk about this probably later, but I'm just going to jump on it. You know, well, it's the, anything you want. the plots and you know, the plotters versus the panthers who flies by the seat of their pants and who actually does outlines and all of that. I sort of, I plot only in my head. So it really becomes about, I will have sort of, it, it, it sort of, you've seen the movie, you know, you kind of, and then you start to write and then you, and, and, the research and the, this and so it just keeps adjusting and morphing and adjusting and morphing and then you hit a point where you it's all come together and now it's just the race home so that first that first portion of the book will take me eight months nine months sometimes so do you have some idea of what your ending might be or are you just Oh, I know exactly what my ending is until it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean by sort of in my head, I see this, you know, I see this movie and, you know, this is it. And then information will come in along the way from the research, from this, from that, from characters that you didn't see in advance. And, and suddenly the ending is different than you'd imagined it. But generally I find it's the same ending, even if it's executed differently. Gotcha. So do you, I mean, are you writing, I assume, obviously you're not writing a formal outline. Do you keep just like notes of scribbled things of this might be my next chess move or is it all up here in your head the whole time? Uh, it tends to all be there, except that I will think of something where I'm like, oh, that'll be great, but that's got to come way later. So then I'll scribble, you know, two, three notes to myself to just say, don't forget about this because it's really good. And are you letting the characters... Um, one of my favorite things about writing is when the characters start to do things on their own that you hadn't anticipated, but now you have to make room for. Well, that's exactly, that's it. It's the, it's the, oh my God, they're, they're, you know, this is really good. They're going to have this argument about this. They're not ready for this argument. You know, let me write it down. Let me write down the argument they're having so that later on, and I can go back and I will have these random half pages of notes, all of which went into books, not necessarily the way I wrote it in that moment, but the intent of it all wound up somewhere. So do you write your stories in order during that initial time? Yes. It's all, I, that's why I'll take notes on things that will be further down the line because I will write, you know, page one, chapter one, here we go. 
<laughs> and is that the same when you're uh, working on things for the screen? Same process or different process when you're doing that? Uh, for me, it's a different process because I, um, what I've done for, for screen, I've gotten, you know, in essence, hired to come in and there's a showrunner. So I'm getting them. So it's, it's a different process because you're looking at somebody's outline or somebody's thumbnail and, you know, the notes you're giving are on concept. Okay. You know, like, like, oh, no, we can't do that. We're in Nova Scotia and we don't have one of those. So could we find something that will satisfy you the same way? But we will have one of. Gotcha. So and because it's a little bit more collaborative, it's, uh, you, you can't keep it all up here, I assume? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and I guarantee you that I have a million showrunners in my past who will all say, we wish you would just keep it up here. <laughs> 